Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test Tech, I'm Josh. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to bind and also the main features of our FT Mobula combined with our FT Pocket Radio. Now, if you're getting our starter bundle, you may be getting a starter bundle with the CC2500 series Pocket Radio. All these steps are the exact same. The only things we're gonna need is our Mobula radio, a charged battery, of course, our pocket transmitter. And along with that, because we have a tiny little button to push, we wanna use something that's not metal. So I recommend either a barbecue skewer or a toothpick. Let's go ahead and get our materials in order and we'll get started. So the first thing that we're gonna do in the process of binding our FT Mobula is we're gonna go ahead and power on our transmitter. Hold the power button down for about five seconds. Welcome to HTX, Brother cut, low rate. And you're gonna notice that your screen comes to life. Now, it's most likely that your model is not gonna be selected properly. So the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna hit the model button one time and we're gonna use our scrolly ball here to scroll down until we see FPV drone. Now, whether it's the FT pocket transmitter or the classic 2500 series pocket transmitter, they'll both have the FPV drone model preloaded. We're gonna go ahead and press down on the scrolly ball one time. We're gonna press one more time where it says select. And from that point, we're selected on our model. Our next step here is to go over one page to our setup page. To do that, we're gonna to go to our page over, which is one button down from the top, right under the RTN button. We're gonna press it. Now this has already been set up on the FT transmitter for D8, but we do want to confirm that that is a selection for also the other pocket radio. To do that, we're going to make sure that on internal RF, the mode is selected to multi. We're also going to scroll down and make sure that under type, it's FR Sky D. If you have to change this for any reason, all you simply need to do is press down once on the scrolly ball and rotate it to your left or your right until you see FR Sky D. From that point on, we can go down one more line and you should see D8. You'll notice here that you have D8, cloned, 16, and so many other ones. FR Sky D should default to D8. Make sure that you have D8 selected, and then we're gonna press down one time. Oop, there we go. And from that point, we're gonna highlight the bind button. At this point, we're ready to take our attention towards the main drone. Now there's no real reason to put the battery in the drone here. All we simply need to do is plug it in. Our next step is to press the bind button. You're gonna notice that there is a small button that's right next to our red connector right here that's easily accessible. All we simply need to do is press and hold that button for about three seconds, and you're gonna notice our little red flashing LED turn solid. At this point, I can put this down on the workbench, and I'm simply gonna press the scrolly ball one time while it's highlighted and bind. And once we've done that, it's gonna go through the bind mode here. You'll notice that our little red LED is flashing now. That means it's starting to bind with itself. And now it's gone solid. At this point, I can hit my return button two or three times and fully exit. And we should be able to see our RF signal. Now that I've cycled the power, you can see that I have my RF signal and we also have a telemetry link, which means now if I go in and unplug it, telemetry lost. We now have a bind. Now this transmitter will talk with the FT Mobula. Our next step is to go through the main features. So to make life a little bit easier here, I'm going to go ahead and slide my battery in with the extended lead pointing forward. At that point, I can go around the side and plug it in. Now, if you have older versions of Tiny Whoops with this connector on it, you can actually make the connection through the back, but keep in mind it's going to be just a little bit tight, but it will work. Take care whenever you're plugging in these batteries to make sure you don't put excessive pull on this power cord. All right, we're gonna go ahead and plug this in. Telemetry recovered. You can see we have telemetry now at this point. And I'm gonna go ahead and go through the different modes that we have. Our first mode that we're gonna have with the throttle cut is our arm mode. And that's gonna be the one that you're gonna use all the time. Anytime that you get in a crash or you flip over or you get in a situation where you need to cut the motors quickly, always remember where this button is. Simply by pressing the button down one time, we activate our motors. You press it again, the motors turn off. Our next switch over to our right here is gonna be our different rate modes. The first two rates are in angle mode. So that will basically limit the amount of bank that you have and it will always return you to the center whenever you're flying. Our last mode that's all the way pointed towards us is actually gonna be horizon mode. This still gives you your auto level, but it gives you the ability to do things like flips and rolls as you're flying. It's a really great way to prepare for full acro flying. Our next button over here is actually gonna be flip over after crash. 
Now say you're flying in a situation and you end up flipping over on the ground and you want to be able to flip over without taking your goggles off and you want to be able to get flying quickly. All you simply need to do is deactivate it, which it is right now. You're going to flip this all the way towards you and then you're going to go ahead and flip and activate your arm mode one more time. At this point, the motors will be able to reverse themselves to let you flip over the quad and take off again. Now, once you've been able to flip over the quad and you're ready to fly one more time, you disarm the throttle, flip your switch all the way away from you, and then rearm again, and you're ready to fly. Our last button all the way to our right here is gonna be your beeper mode. Now, if you ever land in an area and you can't quite find your quad, whether you're flying out around your house, maybe you landed a bush, or you've crashed behind your couch and you can't find it, this beeper mode is a really good way to be able to track it down. So as a quick recap, from left to right, we have our arm mode, we have our different rates, we have our flip over after crash, and we have our beeper. All of this is pre-programmed on your FT Pocket Radio and also the classic Radio Master Pocket CC2500. All right, friends, at this point, we are ready to take this up for its very first flight. And don't forget to hit the subscribe bell and also check out our other videos, especially if you want to learn cool features like being able to make your transmitter, talk to your drone, to do things like change your frequency channel. Thanks so much for being part of the Flight Test family, and we'll see you next time.